Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Kent. The channel is EOS San Diego, and I talk about the EOS blockchain almost every single night. Um, so everybody that wished Molly happy birthday, I really appreciate it. We had a really good time, and of course, um, um, she's going to be a big part of our challenge tab as soon as we get it uh, released, and we will have that done very soon. But I want to talk a little bit tonight about um, about uh, Brendan Bloomer, who was on um, on Bloom Bloomberg here recently, and I, I noticed tonight. I watched um, Cipher Glasses uh, podcast. Rob Rob Finch. If you don't know who Rob Finch is, he is, uh, I believe, he's one of the, the chief individuals of Cipher Glass, a block producer, and he puts out a really good podcast. I'd highly recommend it because he gives a lot of good information. I noticed he watched that uh, that interview with uh, with Brendan Bloomer, and he picked up on a few things as well as I did. I've talked a little bit about it in previous videos, but uh, two things really stood out to me. The one thing that Brendan Bloomer said was that that um, EOS is going to be building something. Uh, maybe by the end of this year, early next year, they're going to be building something. We always kind of thought that maybe it would be another Steemit or some sort of sh social media platform. But he said something else that was very interesting in that interview. He did say, you will know by what we are investing or what our VC money is going, you will be able to indicate, that'll be an indicator of where we're going, what we're going to build. And of course, news has been coming out about, uh, I think, FinLab, which is, uh, they gave him a lot of money, gave FinLab a lot of money earlier this year. And now FinLab has, uh, FinLab's an incubator for financial services, um, the industry, financial services companies. They're helping uh, to get those kind of companies going. They're out of they're out of Germany, and now they have now have a deal with the company by by the name of Bayron, they 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 on they are something like that something they, B A R O N or something like that I can't remember what it is, but that is an identity company. That's a company that is, is keeping having you put your identity on the blockchain and being able to keep track of your identity on the blockchain in the financial services world. So and I've talked a lot about that. That's I've talked a lot and lot about. Putting your financial, putting your identity on the internet, on the blockchain, and then having it secure, and then having a lot of information being able to be used without you constantly repeating or giving out information, which slows down, which is literally a, uh, um, it, it, it um, it's a restriction. You know, it's it's a it's a friction point on the internet for you to do anything. Every time you have to re, um, it, you know, uh, re-identify yourself. So this company is a, a way of putting your information on the internet, then also being able to get that information away from centralized systems and being able to have some control over it, as well as being able to monetize it. So that's what this company does, Veyon. Veyon, I believe, is the name of the company. So what we're seeing, and I kind of like the way Brendan Bloomer did this because he kind of did it and kind of told you where they were going in a kind of roundabout way, not a direct way, but if you listen very closely to what he said, it kind of tells you what they're doing. EOS is getting ready to build some sort of financial services or do some financial services company or some sort of, not a company, but some sort of financial services protocol platform on the EOS blockchain. I believe that's where they're going, especially with the, uh, with the new uh, 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 chief operating officer, uh, I think his name's Rob Jettison, Jessica Jess Jettison, from the, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, from the Bank of, uh, the Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Big banker. Uh, now with uh, the financial services uh, relationships that they're making, Bayon, and of course when they had FinLab, who is an insurance, financial services kind of business, an incubator for those companies. EOS is getting pl planning to do something big in the financial industry business on on the blockchain. That's what they're doing. That's what that, this is where this is going. Um, um, uh, Brandon Bloomer pretty much told you that. When he said, you'll be knowing by where the VC money is going, what we're going to be building and what we're going to be doing. And now when they're doing this, like I say, the, the, the companies and what they're, what they're spending their money on, you can start to see what they're doing. They're getting ready to do some big financial service company on the, the blockchain. They may be, able, they may be um, introducing um, uh, some sort of a, a stable coin. I think, uh, 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 I think Rob Finch said that. You know, they could be introducing a new... Uh, something to compete against all currencies in the world. There could be something being developed on this, and I have talked about this forever on my on my on my channel. That 
the future of blockchain is the is the ability to record information on the blockchain, have that information, that financial information, to be able to be exchanged and utilized uh, seamlessly throughout the world without a lot of third party control or a lot of third party uh, verification. That is where this is going. This is getting. This is going to be some sort of worldwide system, a worldwide way of trade, a worldwide way way of having financial services on the blockchain. I believe that's what EOS is building. They're building a worldwide financial services system on the blockchain right now. And they're doing it through their VC acquisitions. The VCs are giving money out to people. And these are the places where the money's going to, the financial services. Uh, we all think, uh, uh, we were all thinking, speculating, because of course uh, Dan Larimer's been involved with with, uh, with Steemit that it was going to be platform. And he did, he has talked about that. But I think that there is something brewing, something big brewing in a financial services sector. Financial services, something big brewing. And it sounds as though it's going to be done uh, late this year, early next year, uh, based on what Brennan was saying on uh, the Bloomberg uh, 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 interview that he had. And I think Rob Finch picked up on that too a little bit. So uh, big stuff coming up. I think really big stuff coming up. Also, uh, Rob talked a little bit about the block producers that are... Um, uh, I guess what the word was is colluding, uh, using their influence to uh, block, get block producers voted in and then also to help themselves out. And he talked a little bit about that. And I thought it was interesting because he brought up a really good point, which is that it's all recorded on the blockchain. So regardless of what anybody says or doesn't say, uh, it's all recorded. And that's the beauty of the blockchain. You can see the transactions and who's doing what. So, uh, you know, if you know the account, you can go back and look at it on the blockchain. And I think he brought that up. And like I said, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not uh, somebody that knows all the block producers. I know some of the block producers. I think some of them, and everybody I've ever met that's a block producer or have spoken with on Telegram or any other a place has been really nice to me. And I, I, I think they're, they've all really, you know, are good block producers. I don't know much about a lot of the block producers. That's why I said that last night that you need to follow somebody that also has some, um, that has some mechanism or has some, some, uh, some way of, of, of uh, tracking block producers and knowing what they're doing, just like what Rob was saying today. I don't. I mean, I, I, I know that, uh, I know that the block producers uh, certainly are in a powerful position to do things, but I also know that the community is in a more powerful position to to take control of whoever gets to be block producer. So. Uh, once again, you know, I would just, and I think Rob said the same thing. You just, I just think that you should hold EOS in your own account, in your own wallet. I mean, at a time, for a time, uh, there wasn't a really good wallet available. Now there's some really great wallets. And, uh, you know, it's very easy to hold it in your own. If you're going to be involved with this, you have to take a little bit of initiative and control your own EOS and vote with your own EOS and, and, and select a block producer. And, of course, select block producers, in my mind, that are transparent, that completely put their information out there let you know who they are, who's involved, uh, let you know, uh, you know, where they're at, uh, and all this stuff, as transparent as possible. You know, I know, and he talked a little bit about this, in certain places in the world, you can't be transparent for certain reasons, but, you know, be as transparent as possible, and try to be upfront and let people know what's going on. I mean, I think that's what it's all about. I mean, that's what it's all about. And I think Rob does that with his podcast and with his videos, and with the amount of content he puts out, he does a really nice job. Of course, when you, when you see somebody every day on the internet, or every week on the internet, like I'm on the internet every day, I think you start to build a feeling for that person. Uh, kind of get some idea of where they, who they are and what they talk about and kind of get a little bit of information and a little bit of a, a personal opinion about them. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, and of course, there is a language barrier here. So, you know, most of these block producers are, are, are now in other countries, other parts of the world. Non-speaking, non-English speaking, and of course, I don't speak uh, other languages, um, and of course, you know, there's a little bit of a, of, of, of a language barrier. But we still need to know what everybody's doing and how they're doing it, and uh, try to communicate as well as we can. Um, in the meantime, learn another language as quickly as you can too. I mean, I know some German. I talked to German the other night, but I'm not fluent in German, and I'm certainly not fluent in Japanese or Chinese or some of the other languages or Korean. And uh, like I say, I've had people on my channel that want to hear my videos in Korea. And I appreciate that. And I've also had the same with Chinese, China. People want to hear my videos in China. They're hungry for information. They're hungry for blockchain. They're hungry, hungry for these ideas because these ideas are going to help them 
have a better life. And that's what this is all about, helping people have a better life. And that's what we want. We want, we want transparency. We want people to have a better life. And we want people to succeed. And that's why I love EOS. That's why I love the blockchain. And that's why I love everything that's going on here. That's why I make the nightly video. Because it's a passion of mine. It's not just, um, you know, I bought some EOS sometime. Or we did an airdrop. And, you know, I got 10 other things going on. And I, I every now and then I think about EOS. No, I think about it all the time. I think I'm, most of the time I spend on the internet, if it's not involved with, you know, some personal business, it's usually about doing something with EOS or doing something with the challenge app or, or, or researching something or finding out some more information because I find it very, very entertaining, very interesting and, and very mentally challenging to the point where I think this is a, a great idea and I want to learn more. I want to learn more every day. I just want to learn more about this and understand it a little better because better, I see it as the future and I see it as the future of, of so many people too. So many people will join the blockchain. So many people will be involved with the blockchain. So many younger people that are struggling to find some some way of 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 making it in this world are going to find their way on the blockchain, doing something with the blockchain, interacting with the blockchain, creating content about the blockchain, uh, learning how to uh, how to be a blockchain um, uh, uh, developer. All these things, all opportunities available. All these things I see, and this is what I'm, I'm all, all excited about. So anyway, I rambled a little bit here tonight, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about that because I do see EOS doing something in the financial services sector. Uh, they, they're making that direction. They're going that direction. I see it happening. And this will be something very, 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 very big, very big. And I think it's going to be something really exciting for everybody that understands EOS and everybody understands the blockchain. Uh, there's going to be some big financial news come up. Financial things are coming up here in the future. I think that's the way this is, this is going. So anyway, gone on now for almost 12 minutes, so uh, I like to keep my videos short. I don't like to go on for very long because I know people don't want to really uh, sit down for 35, 40 minutes and watch a video because, uh, you know, a lot of people are busy and a lot of people just don't want to, you know, find, you know, they want quick information. They don't want to have long information. That's why I don't read books. That's why I go on the Internet to get my information because I don't want to sit down and read it, but, you know, three or four pages to figure something out. I want to get it in a couple sentences. If I can't get it in a couple sentences, I'm generally not that interested. So anyway, I try to keep this short, try to keep it somewhat entertaining, and try to make it so people uh, are interested and want to listen and want to hear more. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.